So to find this, you want to go into settings, then you want to go down to where it says screen and video, then go into video output, and you'll see the settings here. And most likely by default, leave everything in automatic. You should be just fine. The PlayStation 5 is pretty good at detecting everything that your TV or monitor can do. You can check video output information. It will give you all the information as far as what signals and what resolutions and HDR and stuff that your monitor or TV can do with the PlayStation 5. Now, if you've gone through your monitor settings and your TV settings and things are still a little bit off, we need to tweak things this is maybe where you want to go in here and change a few things such as resolution which allows you to do anything from 720p all the way up to 2160p here which is 4k you may want to change it to 1080p if you want a game at 1080p 120 fps for a specific game you might want to make that change here now 4k video transfer rate this is really to do with chroma subsampling if your screen is flickering and things like that if you're having that issue you can change it right here from negative one to negative two if not leave it on automatic it should be just fine HDR, this is to be able to enable HDR automatically or turn it off, depending upon how you want to game. Uh, your monitor or, or TV needs to support that for this to be able to be turned on. And after you've done that, you can actually adjust your HDR right here. So this is basically a simple thing. You can kind of change the brightness and you want to get it to a certain point where you can make, barely see the symbol. Just hit next here. I kind of do something similar here where I want to get it bright or just dark enough to where you barely see the symbol. Hit next. Same thing here in this section as well too. Go ahead and hit next and that, and you can adjust that accordingly. Now deep color output is basically better colors, finer, richer grade colors. If you have high uh, deep color output through HDMI going through this is really good for HDR. Automatic or off is fine for this. RGB range is, is basically automatic, limited or full. This is all depending upon the TV or monitor you have this plugged in. Most modern TVs and modern monitors should be doing RGB range at the full scale and it should be able to automatically detect this just fine. So I believe that's automatic unless you really actually need to set that. Now, if we go back out here, now the setting you wanna check here and save data, games and app settings, you want to check your game presets. And this is where you want to take a look at performance mode and resolution mode. These are obviously pretty important because you have performance mode for those high refresh rates and resolution mode for those high graphical fidelity. You want to see the nice crisp graphics with that. And we go over that in deeper detail in this particular video here. So I'll definitely check that out if you're really interested in this between performance mode and resolution mode before you buy yourself a new TV or monitor. Thanks for watching.